I am Rebecca from Chemnitz, and here is all the yarn I dyed inspired by daffodils during the April 2023 Chemnitz Dye Along livestream. Stay tuned for the end of this video where I will give you the first little spoiler sneak peek of one of the extras for the 2023 Spring Mini Skein Mini Series. There are still mystery yarn sets and add-on full skeins and sock blanks available, ready to ship in the Chemnitz Creations Etsy shop, and so there's time to order and get your yarn before the Spring Mini Skein Mini Series starts on June 5th. Since spring is here and we're finally getting some warmth and sunshine, I really wanted to pull in and play with yellow and happy sunny colors. And so we did that on five different yarn bases, which I'll chat about as we get to them, in mostly yellow but with some other color accents. I started off by pulling a number of yellows or yellow leaning oranges from my collection of Dharma acid dyes. This way we could swatch and see how the colors work as a dry dye powder application. And you'll see why based on, I guess, the swatches of the colors versus the colors that you see when we take some of the dry powder and apply it to yarn. And that is because yellow, when it's really, really concentrated, looks orange. And orange is a very saturated yellow. And yes, there can be more reds in there, but a lot of times you get a golden orange color once you pump up the volume of your yellow. And if you dilute an orange a lot, you might get a peach, but you also might then get something that fits in the more narrow yellow category. And so looking at these six colors, I was able to see, okay, this still leans yellow when it's very concentrated. This one leans more orange. This one leans to brown. And it let me help pick the colors that I would want for a direct powder application technique that I did later on. And I still need to do a video where I swatch all of the yellow acid dyes that I have across multiple brands. That is absolutely still on my list of things to do. But for now, I hope that these comparisons in this image really does help. And this first yarn is Knit Picks Stroll Fingering Weight Yarn, 75% Superwash Merino Wool, 25% Nylon. I will have Knit Picks affiliate links uh, to all of the different yarn bases, the bear yarn bases that I mentioned in this video, and I'll also link to the one Wool to Die For uh, yarn, but that's not an affiliate link. The yellows and daffodils well, the colors of daffodils actually ranges a lot. The picture that I selected as the inspiration photo has a lot of different varieties of daffodils to give a wider range of the orange and yellows and peach and white colors. And I took about a gram each of Brilliant Yellow and Golden Poppy to create this dip dyed colorway you see right here. The yarn bases were 200 grams of Knit Picks Swish DK. This is 100% Superwash Merino Wool. And then 100 grams of the Multi Net Sock Yarn from Wool to Die For, which is 85% Superwash Merino, 15% Donegal Nep. The fun thing about this Multi Neps colorway is that it has neps that are yellow, green, pink, and blue in the yarn versus a more traditional Donegal of sort of like white, brown, and blacks. And so I thought it would be really fun to dye this base using a bright color, whereas I normally go for something like deeper or more saturated. I'm trying to see if I see any of the yellow neps, maybe a little bit on the more orange area. Mostly I'm just seeing the pink, green, and blue, but it gives little like flecks of flowers. It's like you have a field of daffodils, but an occasional tulip or something popping up. But the other thing that's worth noting here is that we dip dyed all three skeins at the same time, but the yellows in our Donegal base is more muted, as is the orange. And I feel like that it's a little bit less saturated overall. Now, the only thing with this blend that would cause it to absorb less dye is that the Donegal Neps are probably like acrylic or some other synthetic that aren't absorbing dye. And so little bits of these fibers are spun throughout the entire skein, which gives it a little bit of a heathered feel and so it absorbs a little bit less color. At least I think. <laughs> but anyway, this was a super happy, sunny colorway 
for starting off our dyeing. I knew that going into this project, I wanted to create a speckly colorway that had predominantly yellow as the backdrop, but then maybe some bits of white, and then with subtle, uh, some like peachy pink, and potentially even a little bit of some green speckles. I did intentionally pick a photo that had minimal green in it, so that way I could feel okay not using green if I wanted, but I thought it would be really fun, and this yarn is beautiful, to have something that still feels yellow, but you have these hints of all these other colors. Now, I dyed this on three different yarn bases. Knit Picks Galileo, which is 50% merino wool, 50% viscose from bamboo. Uh, it absorbed just a light amount of color, but we still have speckles. They're just incredibly soft and subtle. I have a feeling some of the colors spread a little more, which is leading to some of the softness, because I did try to apply similar amounts of dye to all three skeins. Let's contrast from that Galileo with our stroll. This is the 75% Superwash Merino, 25% Nylon Sock Yarn, and is the one Superwash yarn I used in this pan. Here, our patches of Brilliant Yellow have more area where we don't see that yellow color. We do have white that we feel there. And then you can really see a combination of our peach blush, I think it was sage leaf, and then I don't remember if I used both, I may have used both honey mustard and golden poppy as speckles as well, but I don't remember entirely. I think those are all the colors I used. Our final base was gloss fingering, a 70% merino wool, 30% silk base. And here, especially after just looking at the stroll, you can see that our speckles are much more blown out, mostly. There are a handful of sharper speckles in here, and you can still get these little flecks of these individual colors. And when knit up, these larger little flecks will only be on one stitch. It will still give a speckly appearance to the yarn. It's just there's less contrast overall because the dyes weren't striking as fast. Now, when dyeing yarn in one pan, you might wonder if the stroll is going to absorb a lot more dye than the other two skeins. And if we were kettle dyeing, 100%. If I were to kettle dye stroll in the same pot as gloss, where we have one superwash wool nylon yarn and a non-superwash wool silk yarn, the superwash yarn would absorb more color because colors strike to it faster. And so you wouldn't get the same color. And even if you had the exact same amount of dye absorbed to each skein, the color would appear lighter on the silk blend because of the way silk takes up color. So, <laughs> so that's a secondary thing. But we were dying here low immersion. And so when I flipped the yarn, uh, if there was some yellow left in the pan in that spread, our stroll definitely could have absorbed more of that color um, and sort of taken some from the other two. But otherwise, we did add similar amounts of dye to each of them. And I would say the color in our silk blend is fairly vibrant. Our viscose merino blend, the viscose isn't gonna take up the color. So with the same amount of color, it's gonna look more pastel, but I still absolutely love it. And then we have our yarn mop, which is another skein of stroll. And I use this to wipe my hands on throughout the project. You can see how much more green we have in here and the peach blush is also sort of giving us more of a moment. I am Rebecca from Chemnitz, and I really hope that you enjoyed the Chemnitz Dialogue live stream. It is so much fun to really dive into yellow. It's a color that I don't play with enough, and when I do play with it, it tends to blend with other colors, and I mean, I, sometimes it gets lost. <laughs> and that's just because even a bright pigmented yellow is ultimately less saturated of a color than even like a more medium orange or red. And so that's just the way that that kind of color works. If you make it super, 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 super saturated, it's not gonna feel yellow anymore. So there's that. But now it's time for my favorite part of these dye long recaps, and that's to feature some of the yarn 
met you died, inspired by daffodils like me. If you would like your yarn that you dye or other fiber to be featured in upcoming Chemnitz Dye Along recaps, just share your pictures on Instagram using the Chemnitz Dye Along hashtag or reply to the inspiration photo that's on the public Chemnitz Facebook page. Thank you so much for everyone who submitted. But I could think of some other ways that it could be really fun to play around with these colors more. And part of me wishes I did just like a peach, sort of like a peach and white moment with a little bit of hints of yellow and that sage leaf. I think that also would be very daffodil, very, very beautiful. Just a different type of daffodil, right? If you didn't die along with me this time, how would you approach this colorway? What kinds of colors and techniques would you use? Because if you give one picture to a hundred dyers, you're gonna get a hundred different types of colorways. Yes, some techniques might be similar. There might be similar speckles or dip dyeing, but every dyer is their own artist. And so there's their own spin on it. And I just love it. I love it so much. Please subscribe and turn on notifications. And if you would love to help support the channel, go and check out the Chemnitz Creations Etsy shop. Almost all the yarn that I dye ends up in my shop, and so this is a really great way that you can help support the content here on the Chemnitz Tutorials YouTube channel. And there might be some very special 2023 Spring Mini Skein Mini Series yarn sets left. Uh, and some add-ons. So go and check that out because that event starts June 5th and it's going to be so much fun. And I am shipping out all these samplers right now. And now for our little spoiler. I am so excited. I've said in other streams that the theme this year is around a video game. It's a video game theme. There's some inspiration. The extras are all around this. But in particular, my favorite video game, which happens to be Pokemon. And so, therefore, some of the things that are included in this uh, series as far as extras are gonna be a big surprise. Don't worry, you don't need to be a huge video game fan to understand things with the videos. I will show in my edits pictures of the Pokemon that I reference for my inspiration. And so it's really the colors that are important, but I'm very particular of one thing that I designed. So spoiler warning, spoiler warning, spoiler warning. If you want to wait till you receive your package, uh, thank you for watching. <laughs> the yarn is going to arrive wrapped in this canvas project bag, but what makes it special is this design. So if you don't know about Pokemon, the theme really is, or tagline is, gotta catch them all. You're trying to collect and learn all as much as you can about Pokemon species. And so yarn lovers are very guilty of wanting to collect and have a little bit of all the different type of yarn, right? So gotta stash them all is the yarn collector's motto for this special. And I turned the yarn ball from my logo, it ended up working perfectly into a little Pokeball. And so I made all of these bags myself and each of the mystery mini skein sets comes with one of them. There are a few other fun details that I will leave as a mystery, but don't worry if you don't buy one of the mini skein sets and you want to know more about what I put into the whole series. I will have a vlog at the very end of the spring mini skein mini series where I'll talk all about the things that I made and what went into it. So you'll get to see everything there, but I'm so excited. And I cannot wait for you to see these videos because I am so, so proud of the colorways I created. But anyway, I'm Rebecca from Chemnitz, and thank you for watching! You can find the links to everything down in the video description.